So we started this tour north of Colon Street at the 17th century Yap San Diego Ancestral House, which is just across the street from the Heritage of Cebu Monument. Chinese merchants are believed to have built this historic residential home in 1675. Locals believe it's one of the oldest existing residential structures in the country. It was at this house that the rich and prominent Filipino Chinese lived during the Spanish times. Today, the three century old house serves as a museum. This ancestral house was owned by a Chinese trader, John Juan Yap, and his wife, Donna Maria Florida, who had three children. Their oldest daughter, Maria, later married Don Mariano San Diego, who was the chief of Parion during the Spanish colonial period. The most recent owner is the famous choreographer and antique collector, Val San Diego, the great-great-grandson of Maria. Paintings and old portraits adorn the walls. Images of the Santo Nino and Virgin Mary stand in one corner, and angel sculptures accentuate the wooden ceiling and doors. These wooden parts of the house were made from Malave, which is one of the hardest woods in the Philippines. A steep staircase leads you up to the second floor. Here you will find lots of religious images, antique furniture, kitchenware, glassware, paintings and decorative art passed on through eight generations of the family. To wrap up their tour, each tour group stands in front of the window to have a staged photograph taken. 
This house was once used as a boarding house for students as it is close to colleges and universities. The students occupied several rooms on the second floor, which were later restored to their original state. Several of Sabu's elites wanted to buy this property, but Mr. Santiago promised not to sell it in his lifetime as a tribute to his forefathers. I walked around the room a couple of times, so forgive me if you've seen the same thing twice, but some of the things were quite weird, which I'd like to go back to. The majority of objects and artifacts on view were pretty boring really, but there were some things that were quite weird that caught my eye. I particularly loved this wall here with these little cherubs hanging down, they were quite bizarre. I also loved the old photographs and paintings that were on display. These dolls in glass boxes were also quite weird. I also love huge religious statues, especially when placed out of context outside a church. Seeing vintage telephones and radios is also fascinating. This photograph of a nun cut out from the background is also amusing. I wonder what she was standing in front of. I take back what I said earlier about the things on display and being quite bland, there's actually quite a lot of interesting objects on display. But I do wonder what their thought process was behind the objects on display, because a lot of it is quite random.
These sort of situations always amuse me where the kids are playing dress up, wearing traditional clothing. The sort of thing you find in Thailand where you're taken to an authentic village, where locals are dressed in costumes for the day. And then at the end of the day, they change into their jeans and t-shirt. I'm not a big fan of tourist sites per se. I'd rather just walk around the streets and soak up the culture. Back downstairs, through the house and out into the garden. As soon as the tourists are out of the way, the young boy's back on his phone. No more than a hundred metres away, you'll come across the heritage of Cebu Monument. It was built right on the original Plaza Parian in Cebu City. Construction of the structure began in July 1997, and its inauguration was on December the 8th, 2000, three years later. Conceptualised by multi-awarded sculptor Eduardo Castrillo, the mammoth structure depicts significant moments in Cebu's history, beginning with that fateful fight of April 27, 1521, on the island of Mactan, where native chieftain Lapu Lapu killed Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan. The monument also portrays the conversion of Raja Amabob and his followers to Christianity. Local revolution against Spanish rule, Cebuano veneration of Saint Nino, and beautification of first Cebuano Saint Pedro Calumbusud.
thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.